Greetings and welcome to the Clash of the Titans, Survivalists 2 Town, Day 4. Here we have a shot of the very beginning of Day 4 after Day 3. I made a short video for Day 3 because I had to go to work and I was unable to report uh, the end of Day 3. And maybe I kind of cursed things or something because uh, you can see that we had ourselves a death down there uh, at the bottom of the screen the picture Raynor was our first victim he died outside uh, apparently he was unable to log in for an unknown reason and we were unable to escort him and therefore he uh, did not make it through the night uh, it's, such a, it's an unfortunate thing but it happens and uh, we uh, pull ourselves up by our bootstraps and you keep right on going because the news just got better as day four unfolded. Shit's about to get effing magical for day four in the Survivalists 2 town. Let's start by looking at uh, the uh, map from dusk to dawn from day four. And I know that looks like a horrific mess. The person that uh, took that screenshot apparently had every option uh, <laughs> turned on in uh, the uh, died in, uh, dust to dawn map but the uh, points of interest here are we're uh, having a couple of campers and right here at this zone in the uh, kind of straight uh, east of town uh, we had someone go out exploring that was uh, Elgin uh, he went to explore out there and discovered uh, that building. I cannot tell you off the top of my head what kind of building that is. I do not recall. And Stereotomy, Stereo, he volunteered to go all the way out there and camp that for day four. And down here is Sentua, Sent. Um, he is going to be camping that building day four. I helped him um, set up that run uh, some hours ago and he is now uh, showing there on the map as ready to uh, to camp for day four and moving right along um, wanted to uh, point out that uh, these uh, missions that uh, we see here with Elgin and Stereo were coordinated by Perpetual Sin a genius tactician and all around nice guy I was not coerced into saying that I swear Anyway, <laughs> moving on, we still uh, had more people going to our ruin to uh, look for more uh, blueprints and search the ruin. I want to show you the uh, most latest. It is basically a complete map. Uh, take note that there are now eight unlocked doors. We started out with four locked, four unlocked and uh, by finding keys within the ruin itself we were able to open up four more of those uh, doors for us to search. So we've been getting really good results out of our ruin. We've gotten five blueprints in total including the lighthouse. I know our competition didn't really want to hear that. Uh, we as survivalists we got the lighthouse blueprint that of course increases uh, camping chances outside. Uh, super for survivalists and especially for pro campers and many of us in survivalists too, myself included, have the pro camper ability. We also found uh, we got the wood dump, the animal dump, and the food dump out of the ruin. We also got fertilizer which will very nicely complement our veggie plot. So the ruin has been very good to us. Now another reason why things are freaking magical during day four is that weapons are really not much of a problem for us anymore. We had been relying pretty much on water pistols but during day four we opened up a couple of safes that we found out in the world beyond and we didn't even have to spend much AP to get these safes open. First one uh, gave us, I believe it was the Aqua Splash, a uh, very enhanced version of a water pistol. The second safe that opened nearly immediately gave us the Machete, 
the horrible weapon that devastates zombies. And uh, quick fixes, we've got them running out our ears. Plus, I do think we have the ability to get some uh, repair kits going, too. So we'll be able to make great use of uh, the machete. And because of our uh, the way we're going to be handling our water, the Aqua Splash is also going to be a very strong weapon for us to trim back the zombies away from town and keep our um, depleted or undepleted zones available for searching. But very good news there. We also found the Devastator, which is a very powerful weapon using batteries, but uh, we'd still prefer probably to go with a Mark II. We've found that it seems to have a better ratio for lasting longer. But hey, great weapons, wonderful weapons for us to use. And another reason why day four is just the day of effing magic, we finally got our hacksaw. Uh, we were getting a little worried that maybe we'd never find the thing, but uh, the hacksaw was found, delivered, assembled, and is now in full use. But we still don't have our factory yet. Um, we need to get some more jarpen tables from flat packed furniture. Uh, and as soon as we do, then we'll be able to uh, proceed with getting our factory going. But right now, having the hacksaw is a very big step in the right direction in uh, saving uh, AP while making conversions and uh, doing other things. Very good, very good. Uh, next thing up is the overview of the town. This is how we're doing so far. We've got the vegetable plot up, which produces the 7 AP food on a daily basis. Uh, we also recently finished the lighthouse, so it's ready to go whenever we're uh, ready to start some major, major camping. And uh, the foundations are open, so everything in that tree is going to be available to us there. And moving on to the end of day four, going into day five, history repeated itself. So the day wasn't entirely, totally magical. It could have ended better. Caesar was our next victim. Kind of similar um, circumstances to Raynor. He was unable to come online for unknown reasons, and we were unable to escort him back to town either. So it's an unfortunate thing, but uh, we were speaking in IRC, and yeah, it, it, it hurts and it sucks. We're not happy about it, but we're not going to let it uh, hurt our morale. We're going to keep right on a going. We can still win this thing. It's not the end of the world. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep going. You know, we're not going to let that drag us down. You know, we're going we're gonna to keep right on trucking along. I want to finish this uh, daily video up with some corrections. I had said some things in previous uh, videos that turned out to be uh, not exactly correct. So I just want to kind of run through a little bit of a list of some of the things, uh, make some corrections here. Uh, first off, uh, Avarice, our uh, citizen here in town, good friend of mine from my Meta, uh, he was a guardian in the last Clash of the Titans, not a tech, like I had said. When I said that, I was kind of guessing, and when I said it, I almost immediately thought, you know, I don't think that's right. But yeah, he was a guardian in Clash of the Titans 1. Uh, Belagar, here in our town, he was in Clash of the Titans 1 as well, but at the time, he was known as Shinja. Also, wanted to mention that uh, I overlooked, or did not mention directly, that Larm he was also in Clash of the Titans 1 as well. And that's about it for day four here in our town. I camped your mum. And, uh, well, you know what? There is a big secret. Something we have planned. And the big secret is...